for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy at FC24 coins. Check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. Yes, then, YouTube, we are back. But first, drop this video a like for me. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So it's a Thursday. So you know what that type of video is going to be? My full set of custom tactics. But first, we are in the ultra defensive now. Check out trustdice.wing. Link is down in the description below. Enjoy 8,000 plus crypto games, up to 20% cash back, fast withdrawal system, and a 24-7 live support. You do have popular games in the casino, and you also have a live casino if you do want to check it out. Link is down in the description below. Check them out. You can also use the sports section as well, whether it be the NBA, the Champions League, the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the NFL La Liga, anything you want. So remember to check out trustdice.win. Link is down in the description below. You can use this from minute one if you want to. I only really switch into it kind of like last 15, 20 minutes if I'm trying to like not even just see out a lead, but I do just want to be a little bit more defensively solid. So in the 4 triple 2 I did drop a video on this yesterday actually. Balanced on the defensive style. 43 on the defensive width with 71 depth. Of course, the balance and direct passing, your absolute bread and butter. 47 on the offensive width. Seven players in the box, two corners and two free kicks. Like So, player instructions in the 4 triple 2 I play with both of my strikers on stay central, getting behind and come back on defence. So, both the strikers stay central, getting behind and come back on defence. The lamb is also on come back on defence. But get into the box for cross and free roam as well. And then the right-sided cam, come back on defence, but only get into the box for cross. I then have the ram on stick to position. Right-sided CDM is the more attack-minded CDM. So balanced attack and cover centre. Left-sided CDM is, is kind of like a traditional number six. So stay back while attacking and cover centre. I then play with the left back on join the attack and overlap. So as my lamb kind of drifts inwards, the left back will be on the on the overlap on the left hand side. So join the attack and overlap. Both the centre backs stay back while attacking, normal interceptions and stick to position. So completely default. Right back is also on stay back while attacking, and then my goalkeeper is on comes to crosses and sweeper keeper. So that's my ultra defensive. The main formation that I'm using at the minute and probably have done for the last two years is the 4-3-2-1. So minute one, I switch up into my defensive custom tactics, which is the 4-3-2-1. Now, you are going to want to use balanced on the defensive style in the 4-3-2-1. 40 on the defensive width. I go quite narrow when I'm defending in a 4-3-2 or making us more solid more and more structurally defensively sound in the middle of the pitch when we're defending in the 4-3-2-1. The 71 depth, but remember, if you are on old gen, I would recommend a 55 or 60 depth because the 71 depth isn't really relevant on old gen. Balanced and direct passing, like I say, in all my videos, YouTube, you know I'm going to say your absolute bread and butter. 42 on the offensive width. I go very narrow, actually, in the 4-3-2-1. I really like where the left centre forward and the right centre forward are when we go quite narrow in the 4-3-2-1. Seven players in the box. You know what I'm going to say to that, YouTube. The more players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal. It's so, so, so simple when you break it down like that. Two corners and two free kicks like so. The player instructions in the 4-3-2-1 haven't really changed much at all in the 4-3-2-1. I'm kind of really setting my ways on a few things that I use in the 4-3-2-1 that I don't really feel the need to change it. So stay central and getting behind on the striker or on my striker, staying in them central areas of the pitch and making penetrating runs in behind. I then want my right centre forward as well to be on stay central and getting behind because again, I want my striker in them central areas of the pitch and also making penetrating runs in behind. The left centre forward is just then on comeback on defence because remember, we defend in a 4-4-2 when we are using the 4-3-2-1. So as, our, as we lose the ball, our left centre forward, my Mohamed Salah on my RTG, will drop into that left midfield of a 4-4-2, just making us more defensively solid. But then when we get the ball, we'll push straight back up into that left centre forward position. Left central midfielder is then on balanced attack, getting to the box for cross and, and cover centre. So as we have the ball, our left central midfielder will push up a little bit into that number 10 position, making, making us kind of just having more players in the box getting forward. Because remember, the more players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal and the more successful we will be in the attacking phase. Middle central midfielder, again, this player is like a traditional number six. So stay back while attacking. 
and cover centre. I'm not interested in my middle centre midfielder venturing from that spot at all. I want him in that middle of the pitch, making us defensively solid. Right centre midfielder is then on completely default settings, including cover wing. So remember, as our left centre forward drops in to that left midfield of a 4 4 2 when we're defending, our right central midfielder will be the one playing in that right midfield of a 4 4 2 when we don't have the ball. But then when we get the ball, as the left centre forward pushes up, the right central midfielder will push back into that right centre mid spot. Right back is then on stay back while attacking. I don't attack with my right back at all. Both my centre backs completely default settings. Stay back while attacking, normal interceptions and stick to position. And then my left back is the one on during the attack and overlap. So my left back again will be bombing on down that left hand side, giving us more offensive support. Goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So that's the main formation. What I switch into if I'm kind of like not creating enough opportunities in the 4-3-2-1 is actually the 4-4-2. So if I'm struggling in my defensive 4-3-2-1, I will then switch up into my attacking 4-4-2. Balanced on the defensive style, 42 on the defensive width, again being a little bit more narrow and nice and defensively solid. 71 depth, balanced and direct passing. You know what I'm going to say at this point, YouTube, your absolute bread and butter. 45 on the offensive width, seven players in the box, two corners, and two free kicks like so. Player instructions in the 4-4-2. I play with both of my strikers exactly the same way as I do in the 4 triple 2 So stay central, get in behind, and come back on defence on both the strikers. The left midfielder and the right midfielder are on exactly the same thing. So come back on defence, cut inside, which is the game changer. Get in behind and get into the box for cross. And that's exactly the same on my right midfielder as well. So come back on defence. Cut inside, get in behind, and get into the box for cross. Right centre midfielder, the more attack minded central midfielder. Balanced attack, get into the box for cross, and cover centre. Left central midfielder, this player is more of a traditional number six. Again, so like a Rodri, Bubakar Kamara, Casemiro, these type of players. Stay back while attacking, and cover centre again. Left back and right back are actually both on stay back while attacking. I don't attack with my full backs in the 4-4-2. I don't really feel the need to really. I don't really feel like it's needed. So stay back while attacking on my left back and right back. Both my centre backs, again... Completely default settings, stay back while attacking, normal interceptions and stick to position. And then right back again, stay back while attacking. Goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And then my ultra attacking YouTube, I only switch into this literally last 15, 20 minutes in game. It is a very much YOLO set of custom tactics, as you will see on your screen. Constant pressure, 45 on the width, 100 depth, balanced and direct passing. 50 on the offensive width, max players in the box, max corners, and max free kicks. Player instructions, stay central, get in behind on both the strikers, no comeback on defence. Both the Lamb and the Ram are on stay forward, get into the box for cross, that is on both the Lamb and the Ram. My right side is CDM, balanced defence, get forward and cover centre. Left side is CDM, balanced defence, balanced attack and cover centre. Both the left back and the right back YouTube are on during the attack and overlap in a 4 triple 2 constant pressure. Both centre backs, default settings and then goalkeeper comes to crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there YouTube is my brand new Thursday video for you. My full set of custom tactics. If you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Drop it a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.